the importance of hardware in who actually wins the AI race. We today are seeing sort of a lot of parity between our different AI tools. ChatGPT sort of has the front runner status and continues to do pretty well in producing and releasing nicely finished consumable AI tools. We see Gemini, we see Perplexity, we see Grok, we see Meta's Llama, we see DeepSeek and all sorts of other LLMs able to sort of keep pace pretty well with ChatGPT. There's nobody who really is a full year in front of the others. Everybody's maybe a couple weeks or a couple months behind. The battleground is going to happen in hardware. I think the company who really uh, does the hardware plus AI operating system right is going to be the one that actually wins the day. It's going to be the one that we sort of see have widespread public adoption and really cut into the funding that's necessary to keep some of these AI companies afloat. This is why OpenAI had to buy their own hardware solution. I think this is also going to force Apple to really double down on its AI strategy. If OpenAI is committing to building its own unique forms of AI hardware, its own type of screenless smartphone is what the rumor is currently. Apple's got to figure out a way to get Apple Intelligence and Siri back up to parity. And that may mean that they have to acquire an AI company outright or have some sort of significant partnership established. We've got to be really watching the device and hardware space. When you see something move there, it probably has a bigger impact on the future of who wins the AI race than the actual LLM piece.